Oh, however, I think that uh, that last spawn moved it too close to the guards. And these paladins are going to join the fight. They're going to help me out. Which is 100% okay by me. Go, paladin markswoman. Glitter bomb. <laughs> oh, and she's going to heal it. Oh, you, you mentioned D&D &D rules? Uh, that's one of them. If you heal... Use healing magic on an undead, it actually does damage. It's like a regeneration spell on an undead, it's like a dot. Alright. Oh, this guy blessed earlier, so his bless is on cooldown. So he can't do it. Alright, Paladin Elementalist. <laughs> oh, I don't know what effect that's going to have. So that Elementalist just uh, teleported the Revenant out into the middle of like the town square and pissed off like a whole bunch of townspeople who are going to run out and start punching it like Skyrim guards on a dragon. Alrighty, Fawn. Do you have a Bless you can spare? Yes, you do. Get rid of that Cursed Fire. Perfect. And just throw this down and then pass your turn. Markswoman teleports over. And breaks his legs. Dang. Alright, Revenant number two. What are you going to do? Attack of opportunity, my favorite. You're going to get punched. Fire arrow. Okay, he chose to pass the remainder of his turn. Do a turret right here. And we just pass her. Okay. Let's bull rush him. Knock him down. Every time I use that move, I think of the tar and screaming taste my horns. Oh. Oh, okay, so look right here. That fire arrow hit this water earlier and it made a steam cloud, and now I don't have line of sight. So this guy is virtually blinded because he's standing in a steam cloud. Alright, I didn't get an experience message, so I think that thing simply spawned really, really far away. Which, if, as long as I'm leaving combat, that's fine. Um, those... Alright, there's... I was going to run over here and see if I could do range attacks out the window, but I think that's, uh... too far a distance. So I'll have to start running back toward the town square to deal with that one that was teleported out there. Alright, come on, Tysons. Let's go. Throw a totem out there to help. Perfect. Right, these totems are all starting to expire. Because they've been alive too long. <laughs> yeah, dude. They might. <laughs> I'm coming for you. <laughs> this lady in the dress strikes a martial arts pose. They were all like three feet away and none of them chose to attack, so it's very possible they're not really going to do anything. But they didn't run. Credit to them. Right, can I... Yes, high ground. Elevation advantage gives me a little bit longer range. Oh, my favorite NPC of the, of the minute, Elementalist. He blasts it with some kind of magic missile. Oh, don't hit the townspeople! Oh, he didn't. Wait. Okay, that was kind of lucky. He killed it with Cursed Fire, and it didn't respawn in the Cursed Fire. It's probably one of those, the two effects happened at the same time type things. Alright, so... 
A lot of the big spells in this game are fueled by source, which can only be regenerated by draining souls. So I'm munching on the bodies of those guy the guys we just killed to refuel. The bless drained my team pretty drastically here. Drain this void woken that somebody killed earlier. I'm guessing a guard. Let's turn on spirit vision, make sure there's no angry spirits around. Sometimes ghosts get really PO'd when you eat their soul. No idea why. Splat. Alright, well, let's look up here. How much source you have is indicated by these little blue bubbles underneath each of the uh, characters. Oh, just got a key. Key to Lizard Consulate Common Area. I guess I'm in the Lizard Consulate? I wasn't aware. Oh nice, this guy did die earlier. I, w I didn't get an XP, XP message earlier, but uh, he did. his body didn't move, so... Okay. Ho, oh, Lucky Charm proc. Lucky Charm is one of my favorite skills. It's basically every time you open something the game thinks is a container, if it procs, you get a magic loot or an epic loot. And one of my guys has that skill maxed out. All right, identifying the items we found. Uh, wow, that's, that's a big upgrade. We're going to put that on. Mark that for sale. Skim the book. You learn how to make terror grenade. Skim the book. Nothing new learned. And I'm pretty sure we've read that one before. Let's see. Anything else in here? A scroll of rain, it looks like. I never mind scrolls. Can I walk out this way? No. Okay. It looked like I might have could have. Might have could have. But... No. Alright. Drain the Void Woken. I'm pretty sure in this room over here we're going to have to clear up all this Necro Fire and deal with more of those guys that we just fought. But now we know the secret to them. It should take a lot less time. Excellent. Yeah, that best helmet we found so far. I've got everybody using different gear. This first guy uh, is basically using like strength stat gear. This one's using finesse, basically dexterity if you prefer. And these two are using intelligence so that they're not fighting over the same equipment. All right, let's save the game. Okay, so I'm guessing I just used that key to the lizard consulate that we found earlier. All right, so if I were to bless each of these fire patches, it would take three blesses. I really don't want to deal with that. So what I'm going to try to do is spread the fire on purpose to connect it all, and then one bless should catch all of it. Okay. All right, here we go. Beauty. All right, so now, okay, so there's some over there. Oh, there's quite a bit over there. And up there. All right, so let's see, what's the aggro range of this, this guy? Oh, don't open the door back up, you goof. Okay. So, we're going to connect to that fire, without aggroing him, and bless it, which should hopefully chain all the way up. It did? Great. Oh, there's some right there, too. Goodness, even though I know the tactic now, this is kind of monotonous. Alright, bless. 
Good. Any more, any more, any more. All right, so there's two patches in there. Will I aggro going over there? I'm not really known for my sneaking skill. Come on, you can do it. Oh, that key I found earlier does not open that door. Okay. All right, we're gonna need Ifon to sneak. He's the one with the lock pick. Don't aggro, don't aggro. Okay, good. Wait, why is this red? So this little red area me here means someone, an enemy can see me. Is that from this fella up here? I guess that's from him. All right, let's work on more of the same. Oh. That makes no sense to me. Somehow, everybody but this guy got put in combat by this guy doing this. All right. Da, 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 da. Okay, so if that thing bounces again, it'll be all the way over here. You know what, if he's not in combat, I can go ahead and clean up the rest of that cursed fire while these guys are playing. Okay, I'm gonna try to summon an Inca. I like. <laughs> uh, I was about to do something up there, but I don't have line of sight up there. All right, there we go. I'm gonna try to use the blood from this dead lizard. Excellent. So it says blood infusion, so I got what I wanted. So this guy's extra buff in all manners physical. Give him all the accessories. Okay. Ranged attack, and unleash a locust on it. Nice. <laughs> it says, heck no, I'm out. Glitter bomb Sibyl. Alright, let's go over to the guy who's not in the fight and see if he can push back more of the cursed fire. Accidentally click the piano and play the piano. Hmm. This might take two fireballs. Oh, and there's some up there, too. Alright. Switch back to the fight. Alright, so Bill. Summon Bruno. Whirlwind. And all right, this one should kill it or teleport it. All right, so I'm just gonna hold that thought for just a second. Oh yeah, the fire already burned out. All right. Bless. Yes! It did connect. Oh, wow, I didn't even see this guy. <laughs> there's, uh, there's another one right there. All right, let's have you come back. You're getting a bit too far for comfort. Another D&D &D rule, do not split up the party. That's just asking for the dungeon master to wreck you. Okay. Critical hit. Nice. I believe it died the real death. Okay, we used every drop of source Ephon had. Make sure there's no... Oh, there's a spirit up there, so we're not going to drain her until we talk to her and see if she deserves it. Okay. Alright, Fane. Let's have you drain this Void Woken, and then we will go talk to that spirit and see what her deal is. Man, what happened to this place? It's like the building just got its roof slapped off. Alright. 
Hey lady, what's up? The spirit turns against her. Her eyes blaze with cruel disdain. Alert and focused, this spirit is not lost. Not lost at all. Search for her memories. She tilts her head, resisting your intrusion. No sooner do you catch hold of a memory... Alright, Katie. Thanks for joining us. Void woken attacking. A rush to protect the dreamers. A death as the dreamers escape. You too. The spirit resists. She bombards you with memories of everything but the dreamers, the taste of the food at official receptions, the laughter of children. Uh, spirit's trying to distract gardens, me. The warm sun on your skin as you walk by the water. The burgeoning sadness as you realize that life is dead. Mm, take a deep breath and reach into her memories with a great sense of ease. Tell her everything will be okay. The Success. The dream is escaping out through the garden and into a pool. A figure accompanies them. An elegant female kin with a reddish... Oh, display. snap. Mrs. Red Prince. Finally know where she went. Red Princess had a booty call with our Red Prince in the party here quite some time ago. And then she got whooshed away like Princess Peach. And she's supposedly going to be the mother of all dragons, if that sounds familiar. So we need to get her back. But at this point, I'm honestly not even sure whose side she's on. Yifan, if you'd be so kind, please open this door. Let's see what's going on in here. Oh, okay, so here's the pool that we just learned about. Okay. Any spirits? Nope. All right, we got Ruby on to the key to the garden, and one more nasty over there, and one more patch of cursed fire over there. All right, let's see if we can bless that from here, or if we need to link the fire. Balls, got too close. Okay. Da -da 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 -da. No line of sight. Oh, that, that railing is blocking the line of sight. Okay. Oh, really? Oh, are you, are you being blinded by the piano? Good lord. Alright, come over here. Try this again. Yes, now we have line of sight. Alright, pump the adrenaline. Taking some of our action points from our next turn. Give him a power boost. Okay. Guessing she's going to jump, and she does. I think that's a she. Pretty sure that's a female skelly. Glitter bomb. And then an arrow to the face. Okay. So let's have our local pyromancer spread this fire until we can reach it. Oh, is there not? I don't think there's any squares for fire there. Oh, he can... He can reach it now. That's fine. Nice. I don't think she has anywhere to go now. I need to make sure I don't summon this in the fire, or it will be fire-infused. And while it will be beautiful, it will not be able to hurt this thing. Critical! Love it. Alright, move over here a little bit. <laughs> I know, Seville, I know. I don't necessarily like playing as a pre-made character in this game, but I do love playing with the pre-made characters in the party, just because of their commentary. Very similar to like the allies in Dragon Age Inquisition. They carry on conversations with each other, and it's it's a whole new experience each time. Okay, let's just do Soothing Cold. 
And we're just going to pass turn until it's the pet's turn again, because I'm pretty sure they can end this. Smash. And whirlwind for the win, I hope. Nice. Looks like there was no fire that I missed, so it didn't get to go anywhere. I am a little irked that it seems that those things do not give any experience points at all. But what are you going to do? Alright, Ephon drain this, because you had to do another bless. And let's see if there's any loots down here. Oil barrel. Just the thing a normal person would keep inside a consulate, a big barrel of oil. Oh, I'm surprised you can loot that from down there. Can I talk to the spirit from down here? The spirit yes. Is in excruciating agony, trapped in the moment of her death. The void woke up attacking. The dreamers. Madam, your ordeal is over. Her touch draws her out of the endless pain. The void woke and are gone. The dreamers have escaped through the pond. She embraces you in gratitude, sobbing in relief. At Aw, she passed on. Okay, so it looks like the stairwell's collapsed, so I'm going to use Sibyl to use Teleport and hurl Fane up there. Sorry, buddy. It was going to hurt. After which he can grab the loots and drop back down. Wow, I can pick up this painting? Oh, no, I can't. I can just investigate. I was like, that's got to be heavy. Lucky find. I know. Okay, let's relink the party up. Let's see what else we can find in this consulate. Yeah, we got a magic ring there. What's this, this guy do? Uh, really good for an archer, of which I am not. Let's save the game. Save over our one save file. Ooh. The garden, at least, is unscathed. Ooh, XP for discovery. There's totally a portal there a second ago. What's going on? Drudene pipe? That's basically the weed in this game. What do they call it in the Elder Scrolls? Like skooma? It's basically skooma. So the uh, lizard consulate, they were out here getting high. Oh, wow. What is that sword? Oh, that is really close to an upgrade, but not quite. Okay, hold on. He said I discovered something a second ago, which usually means he found like a hidden switch or something. But I'm not seeing it. Ah, it's a good thing his eyes are better than mine. Move this screen. Hidden cache. Rune. So glad he uh, said something when he saw that. A basket with a salad in it. <laughs> oh, vegetarians always hiding their salads in baskets. Hand water pump. Don't know what's going on there. Okay, so those people went through a portal out here in the gardens. I'm not seeing the portal, so there's got to be something I have to do to make the portal appear, but I'm not sure what. I've made one lap around. I didn't have any alerts for finding uh, hidden levers or anything. I've got one person with really good eyesight. I'll check out what that was in just a second. So after this lap, if I don't find it, I'll head back inside the building and see if there's anything else I missed in there. Hmm, okay. So let's head back in here. Maybe there's another ghost or the people outside I can question for how to open that portal, as is sometimes the case. Oh, there's a strip on the beach down here you can go. Oh, dude, did some dude... Oh, it looks like when the building exploded, some guy, like, fell out here down on the rocks. 
along with a treasure chest and some bags. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So let's come up here. Can't reach. Okay, we're gonna have to do a teleport. Alright, let's throw Fane up there. Sorry, buddy. And then teleport the party to Fane. Let's see what the loot is up here. Since I'm up here anyway, a fawn drain this monster. And then we'll root around through this other stuff. Some kind of book, some armor. <laughs> armor in the desk drawer, just what everybody keeps in their desk drawers. The Ness. Wow! That's a big... Oh, but I lose plus two to summoning. I'll hang on to it for now. I have mixed feelings about that. Amazing dagger. But I'm not using daggers right now. All right, let's see if any of these books mentioned... Blah, 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 blah. This mentions portals, but not how to. Uh, archery... Pretty sure I've read Source Orbs Part 1 before. Sort of satire, da, da, da. This talks about the Red Princess, but nothing really useful about it. Okay, so let's come over here. This again? Oh, bloody heck, I picked up the entire potted plant. That's 20 pounds I don't need to be hauling around. Okay. Can I teleport someone down there onto the beach without making them go splat. Looks like the answer is yes. Okay. Locked. Alright. Let's throw the treasure chest up there. You can teleport items, so there's a skill it's an innate skill everybody gets called magic pockets, and basically you can move items from one person's inventory to another no matter how far apart they are. I think in the enhanced edition they're making, they said they're just going to make it a group inventory so you don't have to deal with who did I leave that on. Okay. Let's teleport you back to the team and throw down the treasure chest we just found. And see if we can pick the lock on this bad boy. Not bad, not great, not bad. Okay. All right. Let's head outside and see if these paladins that help me with this fight know about this portal in the garden. Made it inside. Is it safe? We we thought there might still be void vocals in. Ah. Never mind, they're just I guards hiding outside. Possible to make it into the consulate, but you've proven me wrong. Void woken. Arx used to be safe from Okay, these information. The lizards inside the consulate never stood a chance. All the bloody magister's fault. They could have the because they're collaborating with a black ring. Gasp. It's no coincidence that those monstrosities appeared just as we could, by all means, but it... Slaughtered. Okay. Still unclear about how to use that portal, but we have more stuff over here we can look at. So don't need to waste too much time running in circles in there. Hey, hobbits. Good to see you again, man. Trader I'm Reynolds. Real lucky when the Void Woken attacked. They didn't go anywhere near the chemist state. I know some people what lost everything. Okay, let's auto sort. Can't beat Redeka the Witch. She's a tough one. Um, one tip you can try with that one is uh, when she starts the fight, you know, she runs up to that little ledge. You can get all your people up on that ledge, other than the one she's talking to, so that you're right next to her, and you could try to just burst her down before the other people come. If that still isn't enough for you, then you might just try getting XP elsewhere until you get a level up, and then trying it again. 
she's evaluating.